My name is Dr. Steve Warren. I'm a geriatric physician here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was trained back at George Washington University where I got my MD degree as well as my PhD in hospital administration, but along the way had a lot of training in epidemiology, in nutrition, and in exercise physiology. And I've had the benefit of using all of these in my life. So I've seen the effects of disease in our country, and I'm seeing it growing daily in our country. Our population is aging. But we're seeing chronic illnesses daily. I'm seeing heart disease, cancers, hypertension, diabetes, strokes, arthritis, depression, dementia are all occurring in our country at rapid rates. And why? Well, one of the theories is, is that there's a lot of inflammation occurring in our body. We all feel the inflammation if we overdo it in our joints and muscles. But this inflammation is what's causing damage within our bodies and starting this whole process. And one of the key factors in this is something called oxidation. We see it around us all the time. You open up your banana, put it on the counter, it turns mushy and brown a few hours later. It's when oxygen mixes with different molecules and starts a, this damaging process. It's been estimated in the literature that over 200 diseases have been associated with free radical damage. So let's give an example of this. Let's look at heart disease. We all eat bad food. We have these LDL bad cholesterol going around in our body. LDL cholesterol is basically a free radical. It gets into our heart vessels and it causes some inflammation there. We start having damage done within the blood vessels. It starts becoming hard and forms plaque. As it starts forming this hard plaque, it makes the blood vessels thicker. They can't move. And suddenly we have increased blood pressure because the blood vessels are hard. Our heart can't pump as good. So we have increased damage in the heart. The hardened arteries causes damage in our kidneys, in our pancreas, in our liver, and in our brain. And then at the same time, little platelets come along, which are the things that stop us when we cut ourselves from bleeding. And these hit these plaques and start forming clots on it to try to heal the plaques and suddenly form a blood clot. When the blood clots form, we suddenly have heart attacks. We have strokes. Our body has a defense. It produces its own wide range of antioxidants. There's all these chemicals that the body can produce itself from foods to make its own antioxidants. It also can make enzymes that try to stop this process. But because our bodies are constantly being damaged, runners do it by running so much they cause free radicals. We have chronic illnesses, infections, our pollution, our the way that we live, the stresses in our body, both psychological stresses as well as physiological stresses around us are causing increased free radicals and our body gets overwhelmed. It can't fight it, so we need to obtain some antioxidants from another source. We see in the grocery stores tons of these pills that say, hey, this is an antioxidant. But we found that most of these antioxidants that you take as a pill just turns into expensive urine. It does you no good. It does, the body does not metabolize them and use them. It needs to come from natural foods. Nature produces phytonutrients in our foods to help us. It helps the plants. It helps them so they can live longer. It can protect themselves from other insects and from other damages. But the same phytonutrients, which is the new word we're seeing in our country right now, can help us. One of the types of this, and the big one we're going to talk about tonight, is flavonoids. And flavonoids is just one class of antioxidants that are out there. There's a test which the United States Department of Agriculture uses to determine the antioxidant content of fruits and vegetables, called the ORAC test, Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. The USDA has determined the fruit or vegetable with the highest ORAC value is unprocessed dark cocoa powder. It's higher than strawberries, grapes, and even blueberries. In fact, unprocessed dark cocoa powder actually contains over 10 times the number of antioxidants as blueberries. It's because it's very high in flavonoids, and that's the important thing that we're talking about. Cocoa also has minerals in it and vitamins that we need, essential fatty acids that are important for us, and also fiber that's important for our overall diet. And chocolate has been studied all over. We have numerous thousands of scientific literature, not done just in some throwaway magazine, but these are done in the Journal of American Medical Association, the Journal of Clinical Nutrition, that show how important these are in our lives. I found that between the serotonins and the dopamines and other neurotransmitters in chocolate, it helps with depression, makes us feel better, gives us that warming feeling. I even found in my research that is an antihistamine that can stop allergies. I found also that it has a substance in it called theobromide, which is related to something called theophylline, which helps us open up our lungs and makes us feel better. It's also related to a substance called caffeine, but chocolate doesn't have caffeine. I found that chocolate helped with memory, decreased the cavities, helped with gum disease, helped with decreasing arthritis and inflammation in our joints. It also gave us a lot of energy, improved our skin, and made us overall feel well. Numerous things can be stopped by coca. It's just that pure, dark 
coca powder. This berry that we've talked about earlier, called acai berry, is a berry found in the Amazon that has high, high auric value. Actually, it's the highest of all the fruits that have been found. It's rich in phytonutrients. It's been found to help heart disease. It even has a protein composition like eggs. It has a fatty acid composition like olive oil, and it has all these great principles in it, and it tastes good. I'm excited about this because I can take this out to my patients and say, here's something you can take that's going to help stop and hopefully even improve some of these chronic illnesses and help us feel a lot better. So this is really a part of a real comprehensive program to eat right, to have a healthy lifestyle, to exercise, and to be able to take this great drink and utilize it in our bodies in helping us feel better and improve the quality of our lives.